Hi, I'm Michael with Houston Grass, and uh, today we're out in the neighborhood and we're looking at uh, different issues that, uh, that, that St. Augustine can have. Uh, we're, we're right here at the beginning of August, and uh, normally what you hope for is a really wet July. If it rains a lot in July, chinch bugs will be kind of kept at bay. Uh, it's been a fairly wet year, but in July we had about three or four weeks of maybe a half inch of rain total, so I have have, as I've been riding around, I have seen a few areas uh, that have been hit by chinch bugs, and this is one of them. Uh, this is a prime example of where chinch bugs will start. They're looking for drought-stressed grass. So somebody goes on a vacation and forgets to turn on the irrigation system or doesn't have an irrigation system and doesn't let the neighbor come water or whatever. The, the, the rule of thumb is the grass needs one inch of water per week. You don't give it that, uh, and it hasn't been raining. Uh, those chinch bugs will move in. In on that drought stressed grass and uh, chinch bugs are really bad because as they eat they inject uh, uh, they suck they're sucking the juice out of the grass but as they eat they inject a toxin into it and once chinch bugs move through an area you're replacing that area because they uh, the grass is not going to come back the only thing that's going to come back is weeds primarily Bermuda grass uh, so if you see hot spots in your yard, you want to you wanna get them wet, uh, you, you want to you wanna water those extra in particular. Uh, one that way to confirm that you do have chinch bugs is uh, some of it, you, you take, uh, take a coffee can and fill it up, uh, cut out both ends, kind of screw it down in the ground and fill it with uh, soapy water and they'll, 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 they'll float up to the top. Uh, but if you spread the leaves of your grass and you look down in, in there, you'll usually see the adult looks like a black gnat with the as their wings are folded across their back the tips of their wings are are uh are white and uh, the younger stage of them they look they're a little they're smaller obviously and, and a little oranger but this is where they the, the kind of spot that's uh, they usually start you see all the concrete around all this concrete uh, uh, intersecting radiates the heat onto this grass stresses this grass out uh, drought stresses this grass and uh, chinch bugs just just love that uh, we do carry a product uh, that nitrofos uh, has that's uh, that, that it's that's a, a, a really good one but any any product that's got bifen in it is a really good one the one we carry is nitro false bug out max and it's a granular you put it out and it uh, you, you water it in a little bit we also have a product called cyanara which uh, you you uh, is a liquid that you screw on the end of your hose and put it out uh, and at the first signs of, of, of these bugs, uh, like I said, it might just be drought stress. Get on your hands and knees, spread that grass. If you see some gnat kind of things uh, crawling around in there, put put one of those. They're very easy to control, uh, and, and once you, you probably could treat a couple of times and they'll be gone. They move in and out of areas. And like I said, just good maintenance practices, frequent uh, or, or regular watering. If it's if it's not coming out of the sky, you got to get it out of the hose. Uh, so it, it just just doing that and keeping the grass good and healthy that that will keep them at bay better than anything but if you do get them treating in a in a uh in a, in a timely fashion it is it is is a is a close second so uh just wanted to saw some chinch bug damage and wanted to talk a little bit about that and uh to, to give everybody an idea uh, about what to, what to look for and, and how to treat so